What are some of the biggest lies ever told at work? And what were the consequences when you were found out? Fear not, I am here to share all. Let's get into it. The first one is about how people lie to get into work in the first place. And you will absolutely never be able to guess who this first clip is about. Have a go. You're wrong, it's J-Lo. Check it out. Have you ever lied about something to get something? Like, yeah. Yeah? Yo, yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> Lied on my eight by ten resumes, like you know they had that place where you wrote special skills. What were your special I don't know skills? You, I mean, skydiving. Like I put anything. <laughs> I, I remember, like I, I auditioned for this like Olympic commercial when right. I was first starting out, and I was like, God, I gotta work, I gotta get something, and I was super young, and and um, I remember I came in that day and I was on fire, like in my audition, I was like, blah 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 blah, whatever, and I walked out, and I knew it went well, and right as I walk out. They say to me, and the camera was rolling, they say, by the way, do you know how to do a trampoline? Can you do acrobatics and things like that? I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I get the job, and then I go to Canada to shoot this Olympic commercial, and, of course, the trampolines are there, like, ready for the trampoline? I'm like, yes, and I get on it, and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I've got so much time for that. My, the thing I love most about it is the fact that she tries to impersonate an Olympian. An Olympian. Like, that's the only thing that they're the absolute, the very best athletes you will ever find ever. So that's I, I, I've got a lot of time for being able to try and blag your way through an Olympian performance on the trampoline just off the cuff. So the theme of lying about skills that you should have but definitely don't is continued in this next clip. <laughs> <laughs> this person said, I said I could speak Spanish to give myself the automatic 7.5% bonus on my salary. I thought that since it doesn't come up in my daily life, why would it come up at work? <laughs> my boss put me on a team of predominantly Spanish speaking employees and they learned pretty quickly that there was an imposter among them. And I look, I have to ask, did you really think they weren't going to check in some capacity? You really thought they'd just say, well, well, thank God you earned, but learned, learned Spanish. Here's 7.5%. We don't need Spanish. We're just rewarding you for knowing an ex. Just like, of course, there was never going to be a scenario where the boss or the work or whatever didn't say, right, well, since you are fluent Spanish because we gave you that pay rise because you said you are, we're going to need you to own that team there, which is, I mean, it's a brilliant story. I've got a lot of time for it. But I'm going to suggest you hadn't thought that all the way through when you, when you came up with that stroke, particular stroke of genius. The next one is another absolute classic. Anyone who's been to university or anything like that is has has seen this lie in action. Though this one, I have to say, you come across fairly poor because of how the business reacted. So this person lied about their grandma passing away. So he says this, when I was 18 years old, I told my work that my grandmother had passed away so I could go to a concert. When I went back to work, the entire staff had bought and signed a sympathy card for me. I felt like the absolute biggest piece of trash in the world. I've never killed off another grandparent or used any stupid excuses in my adult life after that. And look, fair play to that person for owning that because I think the fact that the company responded in such like a nice way suggests he's actually in a really great place to work. So the fact that you know they've kind of gone that they've all band together they've bought them the card they've written it out they've kind of obviously said oh i'm so sorry for your loss and all that sort of thing and he's just there sort of trying to hide his foo fighters t-shirt or whatever it was um yeah so i <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's not on actually. And a fair play to him for sort of owning that and the fact that he sort of said, you know, I've learnt my lesson on that particular one. The next one, I absolutely love this next clip because it's so bang on because everyone will go around saying, I want you to be honest and all that sort of thing. And this guy summarises perfectly why you actually do have to lie at work. Why do companies force you to lie to get lame jobs? Back when I was in college, I wanted a summer job before the new semester started. And I went to Target and I applied and I told them, hey, you know, I'm just looking to make some money looking to do this, that, and the other. And they said, no, sorry, not interested. And then I went to Best Buy and said, hey, just looking to make some money. And they said, no, sorry, not interested. Then I went to Circuit City, which is aging myself because that was around when I was in college. And I said, you know what? I'm really just looking for a permanent home. I'm the type of person that I look at Circuit City and I see potential. I see a career. I see a place I want to spend the rest of my life. And they were like, damn it, son, you're exactly what we're looking for. I quit three months later. Why do we have to go through the dog and pony show? <laughs> I've got so because he's absolutely bang on. 
there should be nothing wrong with sort of saying, look, I need a salary. You're offering one. I can broadly do what you're looking for. Let's just shake hands and get on with it. But no, you do have to go through this weird thing where you have to pretend like, oh, this is what everything it means to me and this is how much I want. And so I, I absolutely summarized, but it's hilarious that he tried to be honest for the first couple and thought, sod this, I'm just going to lie through my teeth and the fact that he quit three months later. Like he fully intended to. And that's my point. Everyone sort of goes, oh, you know, they no one wants to work hard and all that sort of thing. It's like, well, look, he's being un- unbelievably honest here, which you supposedly value. Like he needs three months work. He's going to offer you three months work. Just let him get paid for that but no he had to go through the i see this is a family <laughs> so yeah a lot of time for this and a very very funny story so thank you very much for that one the next one is i would describe as one of the all-time classic sort of almost like hollywood ways to get caught in a lie so i called in sick to work to go to a university volleyball game unbeknownst to me the game was televised and i was sitting directly behind the serving line Every time a player served, there was I in the background munching on my garlic fries and drinking beer. My boss asked me the next day how my migraine worked out because the bright lights and noise at the gym didn't seem to bother me. And fair play to the boss. That's a really funny way of doing it. Because like we all we've everyone's called in sick at some point, right? And you know, I think it's okay to sort of play it off like that. It's a very funny way to ask. I mean, <laughs> I have to say, this must be in the US, because not in the history of anything has a British university volleyball game being filmed so i can only see this happen in the us uh but yeah an absolute sort of almost cliched way to get caught and that's actually quite funny work from the boss there so a lot of time for that next we have lying about a medical procedure so i'm really rolling out the classics here my boyfriend told his job he was having lasik eye surgery so he could get out of working a busy weekend but since he didn't actually get the surgery it backfired on him because he wasn't able to wear his glasses to work for the rest of his time there and that is absolutely fantastic that's such a brilliantly hilarious way to get caught in life because that is so backfiring so he now has to walk around basically blind but pretending that you can see all because of the lie he told out just to get out of one weekend's work i mean that yeah i mean look that's just actually objectively very funny um and you know so that's right. I think to pick something you were sort of naturally a deficit at anyway, I think was, again, not the most well thought out, but we go on. And then the final one's a really interesting topic, right? The final point is about a college degree and someone lying. And it said this, when I was younger, going to college, I lied that I'd already finished college to get the job. Eventually, I dropped out and they found out a few years later after I'd been employed doing a great job and was going for a promotion. They told me to finish school if I wanted to move up in the company. Now, I don't like the fact that they've now got told them to go finish school if they want to move up in the company. Like, I, I, like, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm someone who's fairly blasé about academics when it comes to jobs. I think, you know, it's not something I look for, particularly when I'm hiring for my companies. It's not something I care about at all if I'm being honest in regards to sort of doing it I don't want to like take away from people who have achieved some like really impressive things I don't want to take away from that but I also don't like how sort of people sort of make out that your entire career is dependent on a few exams that you take when you're sort of 16 and 18 so I'm not a fan of the fact that they made him go back and come in at least they didn't fire him like I, I do know companies who would have done that um, but for me I think the fact that he's a few years be employed doing a great job I guess it does depend on what the job was like, I think if it was like doctor or lawyer then obviously there's sort of a legal element and an actual qualification requirement which is totally fair but that's not the vibe I get from this this sounds just like a fairly standard job he sort of lied about you know what grades he got or something like that or like what he was going to get or whatever it might be um, and then went from there. So I personally would have had no issue with this, if I'm being honest. But at least they didn't fire him. Um, but yeah, those are some of the most spectacular that I've come across. Some absolute crackers in there. As ever, if you've told some whoppers in your time and you got caught, I would love to hear, one, what the lie was, and B, how you were caught or found out. Because, you know, I think some of them, you know, obviously some lies are awful, but some of them are, you know, very funny. 